actually the first jumper his name was Andy Lewis and he uh, he kind of thought it up and we all decided to chase him off chase him off and uh, it was the three of you who jumped from that Kuala Lumpur skyscraper one after the other and of course it requires a lot of timing and this was the first time you tried uh, this kind of skyscraper jump and land onto a pool. Was it all above board and legal in Malaysia? Oh, it was, yeah. It was at a sanctioned event that we had there for um, the previous week. So we had been jumping off the building for about four days before we attempted to uh, land in the swimming pool next door. So it was very well thought of, well planned. But when you jumped off, uh, John, from that skyscraper and when you were parachuting down uh, onto the pool, what was running through your mind? Uh, don't come up short. <laughs> you don't have a lot of places to land, so make sure you hit the pool. It was very uh, James Bond-like type. Um, um, do you plan on uh, making these other types of jumps in other cities uh, around the world? Well, that would be the hope. We definitely enjoy doing it, and uh, the people in, Sing or in Malaysia let us uh, come down there every year and do the same type of event, but uh, we are always looking for new places to go. What is your next dream adventure, uh, John? Oh, geez. Um, I'm not quite sure. Probably somewhere in Thailand, I would think. Why in Thailand? Oh, there's just so many neat uh, places to go. A couple places in Tansai that we can jump and uh, kind of fun things to get into.